Vice President Kamala Harris traveled to Indiana for the first day of that abortion debate. Indiana is the first state in the country to hold a special session on abortion since the overturning of Roe v. Wade. CBS 4's Aaliyah Blackburn was there as Harris met with Indiana Democrats. She joins us now in our studio with the vice president's message. Aaliyah. Well, that's right. Vice President Kamala Harris says the Dobbs decision by the U.S. Supreme Court has created a health care crisis in America. Now, during her remarks this morning, she vowed that she and the president are committed to not only protecting American women, but also Hoosier women. Because do be clear, um, and maybe some people need to actually learn how a woman's body works. While speaking to Indiana's Democratic lawmakers on Monday, Vice President Kamala Harris hinted at context to understand what's at stake. But when you understand how a woman's body works, you will understand that the parameters that are being proposed mean that for the vast majority of women, by the time she realizes she is pregnant, she will effectively be prohibited from having access to reproductive health care that would allow her to choose what happens to her body. Vice President's words headlined a roundtable discussion ahead of Indiana's special legislative session to discuss abortion. What these leaders at this table are doing right now to stand in defense of the women of this state is by extension to stand for the rights of women throughout our country. Over the next several days, Indiana's lawmakers will discuss the Senate Republicans' proposal, which bans all abortions except in cases of rape, incest, and permanent substantial impairment to the mother's health. Vice President Harris, who pointed to her time as a prosecutor, also pointed to concerns with other states as they decide their plans, some without exceptions. A woman or a child would have endured such an act of violence and then to suggest that she would not have the autonomy and authority to make a decision about what happens to her body is outrageous. Harris outlined President Biden's signing of the executive order protecting women's access to abortion medications and action to protect the constitutional right to interstate travel. Now, we reached out to the House Speaker and the Senate President Pro Tem for comment on the Vice President's remarks and visit, but have not heard back as of yet. In the studio, Leah Blackburn, CBS 4 News. Leah, thank you.